Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, today uh, I'm going to show you demo of e-healthcare uh, management system project and this demo also based on the like uh, once the configuration is done from our side so you can follow the following step to operate the application and how can you uh, like perform different different operations by the user rules okay so before we start the demo let's talk about the technology that we are using here so it's following the complete MVC architecture. So the project is completely built on the MVC architecture. You can see the beans are there, controllers are there, exception packages there, models are there to manage the database activity, util, uh, utility are there. And under the bare web, we have view part, which is the JSP, which is built into the JSP and all the configuration, all the things. Also, the important thing is it's built on the Maven. So Maven is, we are using Maven to manage the dependencies. So it's in Maven here. And another thing is deploy over the Tomcat server. So it's using Tomcat 8.0. So if I talk about the technology, so for front end purpose, it's using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you can say, all oh, these are the common elements for the front end side. And to manage the transaction or the responses, it's using JSP here. So for the front end, the core language is JSP and HTML. And for the back end, uh, for the controller side, it's using servlet. And to manage the database and to store the database and the data, we are using here, uh, we are using here database MySQL. <coughs> so here I have a MySQL workbench. So if I go there and check the eHealthcare table, eHealthcare management database, so here I have a lots of tables. These are the number of tables are there. What table is there? User test report. We'll see one by one all the operations, how the operation is going to perform over there. Also, if let's suppose I need to view the data of some table. So uh, for example, here I'm going to view the data of this user table. Now you can see the data is there. So on the basis of this data, let's understand the role, uh, different different roles that are going to interact with the application. So first role will be the admin. So you can see the role ID is one. Second role is a doctor. So doctor is the primary user of the application. Third one is a staff of healthcare system. And the last one is a patient. So different different role IDs are there. On the basis of that role ID, we are differentiating the roles in the single table here. Okay. To execute the application, just right click on the root folder of the project, go to run as, go to run on server, select the Tomcat server, 8.5, click on finish. These are the steps that you need to follow in order to run the project, but before that, make sure your database is running condition. So if you got the project from code one and you take the remote support, we'll do the complete remote configuration at your machine and the project will work in this condition after that how you can perform the operation. So let's explore the project. Here we have a heading and this is my home page. After home page, we have a login page and after login page, we have a sign up page. And let's say in the sign up page, I can register as a patient. So if I'm a patient, I can register here. So let's uh, input some dummy data. So for that username is there, okay. So I need to enter some dummy data. So I enter the dummy email ID, uh, sorry, contact number. And here, the most important thing, I need to enter date of birth. So just follow this format. Make sure you are following the format. Uh, like uh, you can say uh, that is the format that we are going to follow. That first uh, will be month and then day and the year. And divided into the slice. So we will not get any error over there. So here we have a two button. First is save. So it means the data is saved. So the user ID and use a, a new record is inserted into the user table with this new user. When I refresh the table and if you see, I just enter this user here and that is a role ID four as a person. Okay. Now let's log in as an admin and check the operations, what admin can perform over there. So I'm just going to copy username and password from the database table and go to sign in button, uh, login button. I enter the username and the password is here admin at the rate one, two, three. So I enter the password here and okay, let's update. Okay, so again, we have a homepage and the main module is a doctor. So what admin can do, admin can 
check the list of available doctors so currently there is a one doctor in the database so showing the one doctor is here as an admin I can add doctor so I just fill up the dummy data and let's add some contact number I add the contact number and again the date of birth so make sure what the date of birth should be in this format so I just enter some old date like 85 not 1985 okay okay so here we have a email id that's done so make sure whenever you're entering the inputs into the input like data into the input box the data should be in valid format and data should be valid okay so i just save the data and now if i check the list there is a two record okay let's add another record so we can check the delete operation over there so i just go there enter another data and let's suppose this and change it 1995 that's it save it check the list now we have three record also i can perform the edit operation here if i want to change update the edit of uh, the doctor i can edit the doctor so you can see the updated data here now if i want to search the doctor i can search here so uh, the, by first name the data will be filtered similarly you can search by a last name and also another operation we have to delete so select the checkbox click on delete the data is deleted and it's not showing now here okay we have two previous and next button that will be enabled after 10 or 20 records once the limit is over and another operation other uh, like another module we have added stuff so similarly doctor i can add a staff so you can just insert the dummy data here and you can operate this and similarly we have a staff list so admin can check the list of staff that available into the healthcare and uh, same same operation i can perform here i can search here by last name by first name i can delete the staff data i can edit the staff data as an admin let's say uh, another module we have a bard so i can add a bard and here I can check the list of parts. Similarly, we can perform the crude operation that search, delete, edit in the part section as well. Another important module we have a room. So let's say I want to add a room number one zero. Let's suppose one zero one. Select the part. So I'm going to add this in a newly added part and I'm in description and quick. See here is giving an exception uh, and uh, invalid error like room number is already there because the room might be there. So I just change the room, let's say 109 and save it. So data is saved successfully. Now if I check the room list, I can check the new read room list and the bar is assigned to it. I can perform the edit delete operation, all the code operation here. Next thing, similarly, we have a bed. If let's suppose I want to add a bed as an admin into a room, so I I have this option. I have this option. I can enter the bed number. Let's say bed number eight, the room number one zero one. Enter the description and save. The data is saved. So this bed is added in this room. So again, I can perform all the uh, crude operation here. Another we have a medicine let's say i want to add any medicine i can add a med medicine here also i can check the list of medicines another module we have insurance so i can check the insurance available for the patients okay now i just log out here and then let's suppose i'm going to log in as a another user that is doctor <clears throat> so i just enter the username for this doctor make sure if you're going to use this uh, Roll roll ID two. This will be your doctor. Now I just enter the pass the username of doctor, and we have password here. So I just enter the password. Sign in. What doctor can do? Doctor can add a schedule. Like let's say uh, for today's date, uh, the doctor is available. So schedule time. So doctor can schedule a time. Let's say do we have no we don't have okay so today is 21st third no the month will be first 21st so i set for the 22 and 2022 
and timing let's say 12 pm city let's see and low on load and the address click on save so this time is scheduled and it will display to multiple users like a staff can check this admin can check this and also the patients can check this okay we have another options here so these are the scheduled lists so whatever the scheduled list for this doctor that is scheduled by admin or staff that will be displayed here so i can as a doctor i can view the appointments if as that appointment is available currently the data is not available into the appointment list once it will be filled up there it will be displayed here like this okay so this is the appointment and the suggestions if as a doctor i want to add any prescription here i can add that pre prescription here also so name will be uh, like uneditable like you the user can't edit this i mean doctor can't edit this another thing i can check the prescriptions that done by me as a doctor and i can check the test report that is uploaded by the patient okay here we have some common operations my profile change password and log out and let's log out and now move to the third user that is a staff the staff is similar to doctor because doctor can be a staff so let's log in and check uh in a fast move okay again i can check the list of doctors i can admit a patient as a staff i can admit a patient like two patients are registered into the database so if i want to admit some patients i can enter all the details the room number uh, like patient detail doctor name ward name number bed, num bed number date disease and i can save the data they will be displayed here and <clears throat> once i will assign the doctor the data will be displayed to the doctors also i can check the schedule time i can schedule a time for a staff timing I can check the list of available like uh, whatever the schedule will be there for the staff. I can add a bill as a staff. I can add a bill like for this uh, for this uh, user or patient. I'm going to add uh, the bill of 4500. Click on save. The bill is generated and will be displayed to the respective persons. Again, I can add a test report. The test report will be displayed to the doctor. To add the test report, we have multiple functions. Like I can select the doctor name. I can select the patient name. I can select the report file. I can upload any file over there. Enter the data and click on the save button. When I go there, I can check the list of available reports. The insurance is, will be displayed here. Another common operations profile change password and log out. Let's log out and now log in as a newly added patient. So let's suppose I have this patient here. I just added it. So I'm going to log in with this so username and the password. And remember, the patient can directly sign up into the application. Okay, so the doctor list is there two doctors are there uh, here we have uh, like schedules for the doctor so if i want to make an appointment i can make appointment this appointment will be displayed to the doctor right i can check the date as well again again i can check date should be it should be it should be march is it 23? Yeah. Yeah. okay so I can check I, I can make an appointment I can check my appointment that is just I have added prescriptions if some doctor will add the, any prescription it will display here I can check the medicine detail I can check my bills that will be added by the staff member I can check the like if I have some insurance I can check a, I can add insurance that will be displayed to the, the staff member so it staff member can analyze and um, consider as a bill or payment to the insurance company and test reports are there <clears throat> another common operation profile change password and log out so this can be a major project all the complete application and uh, that's good uh, to understand or know the like how the industry development is going on so if you need this source code you can check the link in the description box you can go there you can check the complete technical details uh, and if it will be uh, your requirement you can contact us, you can ping us over the WhatsApp, you can ping us over the mail. So team will be there to get back to you and also will provide the remote support. So don't worry how you are going to do the configuration. You just need to connect with us. We'll do the complete setup at your machine and it will work same as source in the demo. Thank you.